Okay, so now it's time to start integrating some of the things that we're going to need uh, on a library standpoint. So go into the root of your directory and go to gem file and just go down all the way to the bottom and we're going to just create a new section here and I'm just going to paste these in because uh, there are five of them and I think you'd rather have me talk about them said watch me type them in so uh, I'm also going to indent these back where they should be okay so these are the gems for image management we have carrier wave mini magic fog figaro and unf uh, I believe that's the way it's pronounced. I've never actually heard anyone say it out loud. Uh, so to install these, just come to the command line and do bundle install. And it's going to bring all of these in and that's all working. So that's good. So uh, instead of just jumping into using them right away, I want to actually talk about what each of them do. Uh, so you're not going to blindly following but you actually uh, know why you're integrating these things. Uh, first carrier wave is kind of one of the go-to rails tools for uh, implementing file uploads. Uh, you can go through the documentation it's right here on their github page and uh, it's probably it's still one of the best ways for integrating uh, file uploads into your rails application. There's a number of other options. Uh, one of the more popular ones as well now is a uh, refile uh, which is also gaining a lot of ground uh, carrier wave though is still the one you're gonna see the most at the moment and so uh, what it does is it gives a great connection uh, between your rails app uh, being able to set up your uploader and then being able to call it inside of the model and so you can go to this site and you'll actually see a lot of the things that we're gonna be doing uh, one thing that I do is I give a little bit more detailed uh, kind of example than the one they give on there because they have to keep theirs a little bit uh, wider and have a nice wide base for it to work with a lot of different use cases. Uh, what I'll show you will be directly on the Rails side. So these are the kind of things you could do like in the command line and that kind of thing. Um, so feel free to go through this documentation. This is the main gem in the main library that we'll be using. Mini Magic is a very cool uh, library. It's going to let you handle a lot of neat things, and we're going to be calling it from with inside our uh, uploader file. And so it lets us do some things like uh, protect against files being uh, too big and, you know, some things like that. Also handling file sizes. Uh, so you can do things like right here, you can resize images dynamically and uh, you can do a lot of really neat stuff that if you were to try to write yourself would take a very long time. Fog is a great way of connecting to the AWS, the Amazon Web Services CDN, which is what we're going to be using to store our uh, store all of our uh, files. And so uh, you don't want to upload the files and store them on your local machine. Uh, one reason is because Heroku is absolutely hates that kind of thing. You're going to run into all kinds of errors if you try to do that. Uh, so you really want to use an outside service like AWS. And it's free to sign up and actually free to use up to a certain point. And so that's what we're going to be using. And so Fog let you tie into that API very nicely and so you can go through the documentation and get a feeling for kind of how it all works but we'll be going through showing exactly how to implement this and Figaro is a great gem for uh, implementing security into your application. You don't want to push up a lot of these things and make them publicly available. So what Figaro does is it lets you protect your environment variables. So they're only available on your local machine and then also they can be pushed up to production. But if you're say using this the way that I'm using it and putting it onto a GitHub repo, uh, it lets you do all of that uh, without actually making your uh, variables available to the whole world. Obviously with what I'm doing they are going to be available to anyone who watches this video which is the reason why I have to close I had to create a, a demo AWS account that I'll close out after the video is done being filmed just so you guys can't try to get tricky and use my AWS credentials. 
And lastly is the UNF library, and it's the Unicode normalization form support. Uh, this is one where you don't really uh, need to really get into it. We're not going to go into it. This just protects against some issues that I've run into the past uh, when I've uh, integrated carrier wave. So I just bring this in for each one. So that's an explanation on each one of the libraries that we brought in and that we'll be using as we build out our photo uploader.